Sledge. Ubisoft did Sledge dirty, in my opinion. Here's why. <sighs> Sledge starts out with his M590A1 shotgun. 12-gauge pump-action shotgun. It has a seven-shell capacity. No magazine for it, as is true to the actual model. Uh, each shell must be reloaded manually. I died a lot as Sledge using this gun. Death during reloading. The next gun that Sledge, the next primary weapon that Sledge unlocks is this L85A2. The description and recoil pattern on this gun, in my experience, are misleading. This shows a relatively low recoil pattern with moderate muzzle sway. That was not my experience. I found this gun to have a high muzzle rise and the worst uh, sway left and right of any of the assault rifles in the game. It just seemed to fire all over the place. So this recoil pattern, I don't feel, reflects how the weapon actually handles. Saving grace is the 30-round magazine. That was enough to get me out of a few jams, but uh, I'm this gun will miss a fair number of shots unless you're very careful about firing it in you know three to four round bursts that's not always an option when you have to take down an apex or a tormentor especially on critical levels when your your, your team is being swarmed by three sometimes four tormentors at a time because somebody inadvertently alerted a nest spawning tormentors you need sustained fire and this l85a2 just in my opinion it's not really up to the job you use it but i'd prefer something else especially for sledge what in my opinion ubisoft should have done let me see who had it here no it's not there i had it yes so the ACS-12 combat shotgun that Alibi has, I think this weapon should have been given to Sledge. This is just, you know, it has a drum with a 30 shell capacity. I, I think this would just have been the perfect gun for Sledge in this game. That way you can get right up in the enemy's face. You know, Sledge, um, let me show you this here. In his advancement for level 10, his charged hammer swings stun tormentors and smashers. I think it would have been fabulous for Sledge to be able to stun a tormentor and then just unload on them with an ACS-12. That would have made for some great gameplay moments. And as it is, Ubisoft didn't get that. We have a pump-action shotgun, a uh, one of the worst assault rifles in the game, and his final weapon. I just I feel really conflicted about the AR-33. So it has the three firing options, which are great. It does okay damage. And it's recoil spread. I feel like this recoil pattern that they show um, is, is accurate to the gun. It doesn't have a lot of muzzle rise and tends to have a pretty tight pattern when you're firing a continuous um, when you're firing continuously at an enemy. <sighs> Why did Ubisoft give the AR-33? A 25-round magazine. Why? Just just make it 30 rounds, guys. If, you know, if, if Sledge had the ACS-12 combat shotgun and a 30-round magazine AR-33 pans down, he'd be just a baller. 
baller operator to play in the game, and I just feel like Ubisoft did Sledge Dirty. The L85A2 is his best gun, and it's really not that great. The AR-33, you can see on one of the other videos, I went against a Protean solo, and I'm just constantly having to reload, constantly reloading. It's 25-round magazines, just not enough. For a secondary weapon, <laughs> he's, uh, Sledge's default P226 MK25 handgun with the 15-round magazine is the way to go. Put a suppressor on that and go. This SMG-11 is just another example of <laughs> Ubisoft doing Sledge dirty. Okay, so this submachine gun has a fire rate of 12,070 rounds per minute. However, it only has a 16-round magazine, which means you will be through your entire magazine in less than a fraction of a second. This, this gun is just an exercise in reloading. Um, and if you, you say, oh, I'll just, you know, 16-round magazine is not bad. I'll toggle it to a single shot. I'll make it a semi-auto submachine gun. Well, in that case you still might as well go with the P226 MK25 because it only has one less round per magazine at 15 and it does almost twice as much damage at 30. So this SMG-11, is, I, I don't know, this description says small size submachine gun with a high rate of fire, lethal package in disciplined hands. Yeah, this is a lethal package for your enemy. You're giving them the opportunity to kill you while you reload. The SMG-11 is horrible. So the only thing Sledge really has going for him is a somewhat decent secondary weapon. Yeah, Ubisoft just did Sledge dirty.